Hello folks, I'm Steve Judd. I'm a professional astrologer with over 30 years consultative experience and these are my monthly sun sign forecasts for you coming courtesy of Ask the Answer, the UK's leading phone line service for excellent tarot readers, channelers, mediums and psychics. Enjoy. And this is the astrological forecast for Pisces for August 2013. Well. Compared to much of recent months, it's pretty much a doddle this month, folks. Many of you will look at me and go, you've got to be joking. But I'll bet that most of you that are saying that are those of you born in February, not March. Those Pisces born in March are, are actually looking fairly steady and stable and consistent at the moment. And I'm not seeing a problem here, not really. Most of you are finding a little bit overindulgent. In fact, it would not surprise me if, if some of you, especially those March Pisceans, were not to spend the first two weeks of August actually putting on a pound or a kilo or two. And why not? Because you will lose it again. It's a time for pleasure and reward. Venus is in your opposite sign if you're born during March. So I think it's, it's, it's generally okay to actually indulge yourself and wallow a little bit. Um, Jupiter and Saturn are beginning to dance with each other nicely in the other water signs. So there does seem to be a, an energy of slowly developing growth and expansion around all of you that's not really kicking in yet in terms of material results, but should be making you realise that the stuff you're putting up with and the stuff you're dealing with is actually making you a lot more solid and down to earth and stable and grounded than you've been in the past. And as a result, you're becoming much more of a mature person, regardless of your physiological age. It is those of you born in February that I'm primarily focusing on. There's two groups here. But firstly, there's the group of you born from, say, February the 19th, 20th through to February 23, 24, who have been in a bit of a mess all year and will continue to be so till the end of the year. But even here, there's just signs now of a first eddies beginning to turn in your favour. And all Pisceans born during February, you should find that in the last week of August, that there's some news, that there's some developments and actions which kind of um, bring a degree of incision and sharpness into your life. So it's actually not looking that difficult a month as long as you're prepared to say yes, no, black, white. So as far as August 2013 goes, Pisces, yeah, have an incisive month. There you go, folks. I hope that was helpful. Uh, you can find out more about me on my website, stevejudd.com, all the services I offer. And I'll be here next month, courtesy of asktheanswer.com, UK's leading psychic phone line. You're getting these videos a little bit early this month. That's because I'm here at the Green Gathering. I'm one of the people running it. And if you want to come to the Green Gathering, it's normally £130 on the gate. But if you use my promotional code, JUD11, on the greengathering.org.uk website, you can buy a ticket for £90. Hopefully, see you there. And if not, see you here next month. Bye.